I'm back home from Zaspies. I'm home. Hello, I'm back home from Zaddy. I'm home. Hello, and this is hot and steamy because we're eating Zaxby's. Hey guys, welcome to my Zaddy, Zazzy, Zaddy, Zaxby's something, something. <laughs> I've never had this before. Shout out to Prissy P. I remember, I didn't even, she's, she was the first person to ever, ever tell, but. I can't talk right now. She's the first person to ever tell me what this restaurant is. You guys, I've been eating all day. All day. It is 7 p.m. This is my first meal. I've been up since 10. I had to go to the library because the internet's not working. I had to upload my video for you. And then I had, I'm not blaming you. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. I had to go to Target. I had to go to Walmart. I had to go shoe shopping. I had to do all these things. <laughs> And I'm starving. So if the first 10 minutes are like major, major like grubbing, that's why. Follow my Instagram at Nikocado Avocado. And if you do, I might just follow you back. I went to the grocery store. I got, I got checked out and hit on by one of the Mexican produce workers. And he says, uh, what do you say? You, you is nice. Yeah, you is nice. And I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, so if you don't know, Zaxby's, not Zaddy. Oh, Prissy P, I miss you. Zaxby's is a um, chicken finger and wings restaurant. You can sit down inside. I went to, through the drive-thru and I got, a, well, I got a big order. Cause I'm like, if this is my first time, it needs to be epic. I need to try everything. I need to, you know. Now I hope they put the ranch inside here. They said they would. Let's find out, shall we? Here we go. And shout out to my husband who, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm taken, so that's why the flattered people hit on me, but um, shout out to my husband. He made this table. He put everything up for me. So, okay, let me show you everything that I got. Oh, there's the, whoa, that is a lot. Oh, I can't eat all this. That's enough to fill me up. <gasps> I didn't realize how big, I thought they were going to be this big. Like, you know, when you go Buffalo Wild Wings, they're like little turds. These are big. Oh my God. <gasps> Wow. All right, so this is the spicy buffalo, I guess. I got five flavors. Okay, and then I got the bone in. This one is the original, which is supposed to be a little spicy. Wow, that's a lot of food. And then I got the nuclear, oh Lord Jesus. <laughs> nuclear boneless. I like boneless, I really do. Oh, that's why these are so big, because they have the bones in, okay. I got an order of onion rings. Mm, everything's still hot and steamy. I got some cheese bites, deep fried cheese bites. Cause we're eating zaddies. And I got something. Oh, the spicy honey mustard. Yeah, there's ranch and everything. So grab some food. We have a lot to talk about. I have to explain my life. I feel like something's wrong. So we're going to explain everything in this video. Why something's wrong. I don't know. I think it's because I've been eating since yesterday. <laughs> I feel drugged. So let's get straight into the, the eating so that my mind works better and then we can start chatting. Let's go. I don't know how spicy this is gonna be. We're about to find out. <gasps> okay. Yay, here we go. <laughs> Yay! Food! I, ha I literally was gonna do a thumbnail, I was like, nah. And that ranch hit my tongue and I was like, <gasps> food, Ugh, give me. And I just ate, I just ate it, I wasn't supposed to. So let's try this, these cheese, these crunchy cheese curd bite, fried cheese, I don't know. Mmm. 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 This is deep fried cheese. Mmm. Mm hmm. <gasps> Look at all that cheese. I love cheese. I love cheese. I love cheese. Yes, I do. Ooh, ooh. I love cheese. I love cheese. I love cheese. Yes, I do. Oh, oh, onion rings. I was about to dip it in that. That's the nuclear sauce. I'm a little afraid for that one. 
Ooh. Their onion rings taste homemade. Mmm. All right, let's try this nuclear sauce. Spicy but delicious. Oh my god, I'm so into these onion rings. Mmm. <gasps> okay, let's go around. Let's go. Ooh, ooh, I'm so excited. All right, this is the original. I got the original on the bone. Let's put a little more. Well, let's taste it without the ranch first. That is nice flavor. Oh. Is it really this good or am I just starving? Said everyone ever. Mmm. <laughs> you know when you're starving, everything tastes good. Mmm. That is nice. Oops. Delicious. Let's try this boneless. Um, I want to get the true flavors before I start dunking them all in ranch. Spicy honey mustard. Oh! That was good. All right. This is what I already had that chicken finger. It was really nice. Big chunks of chicken. Like, oh my god. <gasps> Look at all this chicken. Okay, this will be dunked. Oh. Mmm. How are you today? How are you today? That's what I say. Oh. Oh, I feel like I'm. Mmm. Mmm. Some people say, Nick, when you're starving, because sometimes, so, listen, I can't even talk. I'm so hungry. So, some people, they eat like one meal a day because they just would rather stuff it all in than just eat bites throughout the day. People say to me, I prefer your mukbangs when you haven't eaten all day because they're just so fun to watch. All right, this is the spicy, spicy nuclear flaming hot one. Yeah. Ooh, my nose. Oh, there we go. That one's very spicy. <gasps> so that one will use a lot of ranch. Wow, I tried everything. Everything is so, there's nothing I don't like. Yes, bish, yes. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so happy. My tongue's on fire, that is really spicy. I'm gonna save those toward the end just so I can. Mm. Those are spicy. Ow! But finally, some spicy food and fast food. You know, spicy burger from Chick-fil-A. Spicy uh, chicken sandwich from Burger King. Spicy this from Wendy's. Those things aren't spicy. You have to go to Buffalo Wild Wings. You have to go to... I'm trying to think of like an American brand fast food place that's like really spicy. Most, you know, Americans don't do that much spice compared to like Asian cultures, Korean culture, Korean, um, Mexican. I think this is my favorite. What did I get? The original flavor. Is it? No. No. Oh gosh. Let me look at the receipt. People get so upset when I don't remember what I ordered. Onion rings, fried cheese bites, 10 bone in. Oh, this is the honey mustard. Okay. Then we have the nuclear, then we have the sweet and spicy, and then we have the original. Original, this is really good. The original flavored chicken fingers are really good. Really, really good. Oh, they're greasy and just so, so good. My cheeks are tangling from that nuclear though. Whoop, yeah. Very spicy. Cheers.
Delicious. Mm. Life is good. <sighs> mm. This came with sauce. It doesn't even need sauce. It's so good. Zestables dip. Ooh, that means it's zesty. Which means it's spicy. Let's put that right there. Mm -hmm. Maybe that should go back here. Where do you like to see your dip? Probably right here. Zesty. Oh, this is a great meal. Wow. Sweet and spicy is good. It's sweet and spicy. Thank you, Prissy P. Shout out to my friend, Prissy P. She told me to come here a long time ago, and now I'm here. Mmm. Oh. Let's do another spicy. These are very spicy, though. Let's try. I'm going to be brave. Here we go. All the other ones. Ah. <clears throat> oh my gosh, so here in Florida, apparently there's been people, I saw it on the news, there's been people who have been putting in these machines into where you go to pump your gas, the gas station, inside where you pay your car, the machine that you pull out the thing to put the hose into the car, you pay right there, standing outside your car. Well. Apparently, there have been some gangsters. People up to no good. Probably from Veronica Wing's neighborhood. They came over, and they, they're they trying to steal from people. They are putting these devices to keep the, um, keep the credit card number, <gasps> the debit card number, and take your money. And I was calling the bank to do something. Oh yeah. To take off my Columbia thing. I had, a, I had to call the bank about the, my Columbia exchange rate. When I used to live in Columbia. So, and they told me, by the way, because I said, they said we relocated. I said Florida. And I said, obviously the city. And they said, oh yeah, we just want, well, you know, we don't do refunds for instant instances that are happening at the gas stations down there. And I'm like, huh? That's what I learned from my bank. He said, unless you're paying cash for... Have you guys heard of this, or is my bank trying to scare me? Unless you're paying cash, please go in... They said we suggest going inside, waiting in line. You know, when you go to buy your cigarettes or your gum or your chips, whatever people do. They say to pay there. I'm like, yeah, but I don't feel like $10 on pump number two. I fill up the whole thing. So what do I say then? How do I... You know what I mean? I, I've never, I don't know. I don't know what to do about this situation. This, this is really good. We're gonna open up more of this. <gasps> my tongue's on fire. Oh my God, look at all this sauce. Look at all that sauce in there. It doesn't even need ranch. <gasps> That's really saucy. Honey mustard with spice. Delicious. Mmm. Mmm. I'm in heaven right now. In case you can't tell. I know some people are so many so many people are jealous, they're on diets. Listen, this one's for you. Mmm. 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 This food is so good, it doesn't need sauces. 
I went to Checkers yesterday. You guys saw that video. I had to put sauce on everything. <laughs> Those. I'm never buying boneless wings from Checkers again. Ugh. The cheese fries were good. Their french fries are amazing. Well seasoned. That was some cartilage. Okay. Well seasoned french fries from Checkers. But the point is. This chicken is night and day compared to that. Those were disgusting. And I did like their fish sandwich though. This is just, this takes it up a notch. This is like, and you know what? It's reflected in the price. Checkers, I paid $1.50 for each one of those sandwiches. $1.50. Each one of these are like $10. This is a $50 meal. So, you know, in life, you get what you pay for. Today's a treat because my poor feet. Oh, I'm loving my shoes, though. Mm. Can I show you without falling down? I might fall down. Yeah. 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 Okay. Those are my shoes. I'm loving. My Asics. So comfortable, like walking on clouds. Very good shoe. Highly recommend this shoe to everyone. No, this is the honey mustard. This is the sweet and spicy. This one's my favorite. That has a lot of sauce, too. My God. Anyways, let me tell you what I did today. I woke up, I went to the library. Oh! So yesterday was my You Now stream. Wonderful, wonderful time. I had so much fun. If you don't know, I do live streaming. It's on a website called younow.com. Do that slash Nicocado Avocado. I'm halfway through. The internet started going bad. And I'm, you know, I have very good internet here at where I'm supposed to, so they're coming tomorrow. Today is Friday. They come tomorrow on Saturday to do a full inspection. And I'm going to be standing over them like Judge Judy saying, Ahem, you better follow through. You better follow up. You better clarify. You better provide it a reason or I will change providers. I'm going to be put on my bitch face. You know? <laughs> That's coming up tomorrow. Yay. That was very frustrating because like people said it was choppy. Oh, everyone said it was choppy. Excuse me. So, anyways, I had to go to the library this morning to upload my video that you saw yesterday. Mm. This is so good. Oh, by the way, I want to let you guys know. Please check out this program. It's an essay writing service. I, I put it on the screen for you. Research it, see if it's right for you. Basically, because I know everyone's going back to school. If you need help with your essays, your homework, you can hire people to help you or even write the paper for you. Check it out, see their options. It's completely confidential and plagiarism free. So, just an FYI. And I always think about that too when I'm going out driving. And I go, when all the kids are off school, I'm so happy to be out of school. And know what's really funny? People, they assume I'm smart because I, because of my recent drama videos, right? No, you guys. Now, I don't want to sit here and say, don't, don't focus on your grades. Everyone should focus on their grades. Do the best you can. Get help, get tutors. But it's not everything. You know, there's some su successful people in the world who never even graduated. And now that's not for, that's not, listen, I shouldn't even say that because most people are not wired to be self-directed and self-motivated and independent. Most people need that push and they need that discipline. And I was always one of those people. So I'm just, I did not graduate with honors. I never even took an honors course in my life. I graduated with like a 2.9 or 3.0 GPA, which is like straight B minuses. Maybe B's, I don't know. Some things like music and art, I always got A pluses in, but no. Now I did go to college, and then my first year in college, 
I was on the Dean's list for the first two years. Straight A's. Bust my ass off. I wanted to prove myself. I'm like, okay, if I try, since I'm paying all this money, okay, now I'm gonna prove to myself. I'm gonna prove to myself, how smart can I be? But I also believe too, you can have really good grades and just have no common sense, have no people skills. So it's really, grades aren't everything. I think we need to stress in this society, technical schools. See, growing up, for me, technical schools were always like, ew, you went to a technical school, ew. Like, oh wow, you must be dumb. That's how, that was the, the assumption. When I was in middle school and we were going to the high school, well, people had an option to go to a technical school. And I remember everyone made fun of the kids going to the technical school. Oh, wow. You must be dumb. Oh, ha, ha, ha. It was, it was shamed. Yet, you know what's more shameful? Going to college, <clears throat> being in debt $80,000 when you graduate, and not know what to do with your life. That's scarier to me than instead of going to high school to take college prep preparatory classes to prepare you to go into college, you did the technical school avenue. You knew you wanted to be, you wanted to, to make cars, play with wires, nuts and bolts, putting together these cars, painting them, working in a big factory. You got specific training and then you graduate and immediately had a job and was not in debt and was making a very good living, $25 an hour. And then I'm thinking of some of my friends who graduate college, undecided, yet going to a private fancy school. Ooh, private. They graduated. They now owe, owe this school tens of thousands of dollars. They're gonna be working for the next 30 years paying it off. They're in debt and they can't get a job. And they're working at Starbucks during the summer. So it's a scary world. <clears throat> I, I believe technical school should be pushed more. It's not for stupid people. It's not for bad people. It's for people who, who, who want to save money because they don't want the extra stuff because they know they don't need it. <clears throat> That's my opinion. And I think too, it goes hand in hand with the um, society really pushing for, well, if you have a bachelor's then I'll actually look at your resume. If you don't have a bachelor's, I'm not even gonna look at your resume. And I think that's not fair either. I'll have a bachelor's and I feel like I would be very qualified to do lots of different things. But I'm so happy to not be a kid anymore. Oh. Anyways. This is the most delicious fast food meal I've ever had in forever. Oh my God. So good. Mm. Anyways, went to the library, uploaded my video, then it's time to go shopping, yay! First, I went to, where did I go first? God, it's such a blur. <clears throat> I went to the grocery store. I got Orlin some fruits and vegetables. Maybe Nick, when you're editing this, you can insert a little clip. Follow my Instagram, it's Nick Akato Avocado. You can watch me in real time, so you're not a day behind. It doesn't really matter, but you're welcome to follow me there if you want it in real time, plus other drama. In selfies of myself, because that's what Instagram's for, taking photos of yourself. <laughs> I know, so it's like, <clears throat> why are so many photos of yourself on your Instagram? I'm like, because people follow people to watch those people. <laughs> you know, if I follow you, it's to watch you. If you're gonna take photos of curtain rods, I'm not following you. <laughs> They want to see, we want to see you. People love to watch people. There's nothing wrong with a little narcissism. We all like to care about ourselves. This meal is so good. 
there's a flat. When I did collab with Bitty Loves, I had the, I had the hammers <laughs> and she had the flats. I just wanna say, it's hard. Speaking of hard, to film two mukbangs in a day. It's hard. Me and Steph Pappas had a really hard time doing it. I'm just thinking back to when I had the chicken with her. It was delicious, but it wasn't as exciting because I didn't have a night's sleep. It wasn't like a new shower, new fresh day, new thoughts, new clothes. Like, I think we changed our shirts, but it's just, it's hard. But, you know, if I'm flying all the way there and I only have two days, blah, blah, blah. I'm not just singling her out. I'm thinking about Wendy's eating show we filmed the same, same day. Me and Carly, well, that Carly's different because I would spend the night for like eight days. <laughs> oh, just crash with it. We were just stuffed ourselves for eight days in a row. I'm thinking about the other mukbangers, like Steph, that was two in one day. Um, Prissy P, we filmed like five in one day. Like, it's it's really hard. It's it's fun, but it's not that extra spark. You know what I mean? Like, that's, yeah. Imagine stuffing yourself two times in a day. It's hard. These videos take work outside of what meets the eye. You have to be hungry for it. The food has to be hot. You have to time it, get in it from the restaurant. The lights better already be ready or you're gonna be screwed. You know, it's like these little things. Anyways, went to the grocery store. So yeah, there's me showing my Instagram of me buying, that's what my husband eats. <laughs> Yeah. That's what he eats. And I support him because he sub supports me with my junk food diet. So at the end of the day, you support someone because you like them, not because you agree or disagree with their diets. Mmm. This is so good. It doesn't even need this ranch. I need to stop using the ranch. This flavor, this juice. Oh my God. So good. Oh. I'm chewing away. And the thing shut off. I said I'm enjoying these bones more than the boneless. Usually I like the boneless more. I don't know when it cut off because I wasn't pro That's one reason I do have to look up into the screen, not eat deep into your soul like this. I have to go up, my eyes go up, so I can see if it's recording. Because some people's cameras like mine, the G7X Mark II, I love it because the microphone is good. I like it because it's portable. I like because it's very, user friendly like an iPhone. It's not it's very decent quality overall. And it's yeah. Anyway. One of the bad things about it is that it turns off on its own. <coughs> so I don't know if it cut off when I said about diets. Oh I need another napkin. I said there's my Instagram showing me getting the my husband's diet, and I said at the end of the day, you support what your per person in your life eats, because um, he says, supports my junk food artery clogging diet, you know what I mean? Like, I eat junk, he doesn't agree with my diet, I don't agree with his diet, but we love each other, though. So there's gonna be no preaching about it. And that's really essential. I was just thinking to myself, too, today on the toilet. <laughs> You know, I've gained all this weight since I met him, and he hasn't changed his love for me. Now, one time, he was, well, a few times, he was really upset, and he would say something about my weight. Especially when I was in Asia. But that was just inflammatory. It was just very mad. Let me just think of something to make him hurt. Just like I did to him. I said things to make him hurt. Things that I didn't really mean. So when you're angry, you say things you don't mean. You just think of something really, you just want to affect them. You just want to make them go, <gasps> ah, how dare you say that? <laughs> no. You know when you're fighting with a friend, you just, if it's being escalated, everyone's screaming louder. 
the heart's pumping. All of a sudden your brain says, go there, mm, girl, ooh, go there. And it's not what you really feel, you're, you're just aware of it. So you say it because you know it's gonna hurt them. You know, it's like a battle. Human primal instinct, grrr. But truly, he has not changed the way he feels about me. I was thinking about that on the toilet. I was like, wow, I'm so lucky. There's some people. I've gotten in my comments, Nick, help me, give me advice. This one lady said, you know, I've gained like 40 pounds and my husband's saying it's harder for him to want to do stuff with me. And I can't lose the weight and I think it's a thyroid issue and I'm trying and <clears throat> and then I'm hungry, then I binge, then I just get bigger and I'm, I'm really, I don't know what to do. And I'm like, that's sad that, one of my parents' neighbors growing up, one of her neighbors, mother and father, they had some children. The mother was big, very, very large woman, very big. And I remember seeing their wedding photos, very skinny, very, very skinny. And this is as a kid, this is my perspective, you know, walking through their house and looking at the photo, you know, the photo uh, picture frames on the, on the desks or whatever. And I remember thinking like, wow. Oh, wow, she got big. You know, kids don't really process it well, but now in my adult brain, I'm like, I'm, I know that they're still together. There's never been, well, maybe there have been affairs or oopsie doopsies or I don't know. But as far as I know, they're still together. And um, it's just, then you know you're with someone for the right reasons. I asked Orlim when I first arrived here. I had some breakouts on my face. And I was all bloated because airplanes make me stressed. So my digestion is whack. I didn't sleep well, so I'm really puffy. I just didn't look good, I didn't feel good. And I was a little self-conscious. I'm like, oh, I look so gross. I know, you don't have to tell me. He's like, no, you don't. <clears throat> this is really personal, but he, you know, the moment I saw him, wait, hold on. <laughs> Shh, let me just do it discreetly so the kids don't, kids, if they don't know what I'm talking about, I'll go right over their head. Whoop. Okay. <laughs> so that happened immediately. And I, you know, I felt it. And I was like, oh, oh. He's like, see, clearly I don't, I don't care if you have pimples and you're bloated and you're chubbier than before. He's like, I like you. I'm happy because it's you. You know, that's when you know, okay, this is for the right reasons. Whoop. Excuse me. I feel very blessed to have someone. If I become, I, I was underweight in my past. He was still by my side. You know, I feel very blessed that I can, I can begin accordion. I can get underweight again if I, if I decide to. I can be overweight again if I decide to. Now, luckily, I'm in control of my weight. I don't have a medical problem. Some people, oh my gosh, I eat five times more than them, and they're like this much bigger than me. And I'm like, how, what, huh? There's problems that happen in people. I'm lucky where if I want to lose weight, I will. And I know how to, and it will happen fast. Um, if I want to gain weight, I know what to do. And, well, it, you know, I'm just lucky that if I choose to pig out or diet, he's still there for me, you know? It's a nice feeling. <clears throat> and I hope that you guys get to experience that with your partners. And if you don't have a partner like that, I would be concerned. I'm not going to sit here and tell you to leave because I don't know all the other factors. But that's a big one. You know, there's plenty of really good guys out there. I don't care if anything, they'll like it more. That's what he says. <laughs> oh, wow. It's, oh, yes. I'm like, even with the love, love handles, are you sure? He goes, yes. 
<laughs> You'd be surprised. They might actually not care. They might even like it more. You'd be surprised, girls. I know we all be like, no, I'm fat, ew. But you'd be surprised. There's really good guys out there that don't even care about that. And then there's even better guys out there that are like, yes, that's what, yes. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah, so. No. There's just some things that are deal breakers, you know. And there's some things too that you have to experience. Like, I, it's very easy to say, oh yeah, I would never like get mad at someone if they gained weight. And I would never like question my attraction to them if they gained weight. It's very easy to say it. But then you have to be with someone for a couple of years and then watch them, you know, gain 50 pounds, 80 pounds. Then you're experiencing it. You know, some people, they just have an experience, you know, they don't experience it. And I've gone back and forth a lot with him, so he's just, you know, always. And same with him, he's he's been big and small and everything in between. <clears throat> I'm really digging the ones with the bones. I should have gotten, the chicken fingers are good though. Mmm. This sauce is so good. I remember DJ Prissy P's brother said, Something about it's saucy, it's sauce, it's saucy, it's sauce. Kind of like that. And I didn't know what he was talking about. I think they're talking about the Zaddies. Mm. I'm making a mess. Oh gosh. So, went to the grocery store, got his groceries. And then I went to Target. I'm trying to find some more. I love plain t-shirts. This one's from Walmart. I don't need to spend a lot of money on clothes. I'm a guy that's like, as long as it's a nice, clean, plain color, I like it. I don't like patterns, I don't like designs. I don't like stuff. I like clean, plain. That's my style. My backgrounds and my videos, they're always white or black. You know, it's not stuff. Um, when do I ever wear a colored, like, multicolored shirt on this channel? Uh, never! Go through my thumbnails, they're all one color. I just like that. The first time I ever wore multicolors when I first arrived here and I didn't have any clothes, I left them all in Columbia. It wasn't worth paying to bring them over. They're all from the thrift store anyway, and they're full of stains from Miss, Mr. Noodle and the mukbangs and Mrs. Pickles and, you know. <laughs> so I'm like, I'll just buy all new clothes. It's not worth paying to bring it over. They're you know, not significant to me. Well, I wore Orland's uh, Hawaiian shirt, like one of those tourist dad shirts. He got from thrift store too. And I wore it from my response to Veronica. There's the thumbnail, if I remember to edit it in here. There's the thumbnail, it's a response to Veronica. And I'm looking at the thumbnail, I'm like, who is that? What? I should have worn a red, I should have worn a blue, something popping, Ugh, I don't like that thumbnail. I wish I could go back in time and change my shirt. Or take the shirt off. The titties always get the clicks. I would make a cleavage. Boop. Show the tits, you get the clicks. But no, I had to wear the, the damn Taurus Dad Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> well, you know, it's not or his fault. It's the only thing that fit me. That's the thing. He's losing so much weight. Nothing of his fits me, so we really need separate clothes now. We used, we used to share, but no, not now. I'm a little bit bigger. He's a lot a bit smaller. <laughs> So anyways, I went to Target today to look for more plain colored shirts. I like really bright ones. I, I didn't end up getting anything. <clears throat> of shirts. I did get stuff, but don't get your shirts. Mm. Now I'm in Florida. And it's winter time right now, so it's perfect temperature if you ask me. If you ever know, if you know where Florida is, it's the southernmost tip of the United States, the continental U.S. Right down, right across from, from Cuba, from the Bahamas, Dominican Republic, Haiti. I lived in Colombia for a couple of years, so it's just directly south. But anyways, that's where it's located. It's subtropical. And actually, Florida is so long that the northern half gets a little bit different weather than the very, very tip, like Miami and Key West. Homestead and all those places. Um, Naples. It's all different depending on where you go. Why is it? 
What was I gonna say? I was gonna say, oh yes. It's also called the sunshine state. The sun shines a lot. And we're also at sea level. Most, well, is this technically sea level? I'm pretty sure. Florida is just flat. It is all flat. So, so that I don't get all wrinkly, I got Neutrogena Healthy Defense Liquid Moisturizer for your face, 50 SP, F SPF. And I got <laughs> SPF. Orlin used to, or used to say um, a funny joke. Um, some people say, not, not nowadays, but like a year or so ago, I would like flex and it would look like muscle and he would be like SPF, strategically placed fat. <laughs> not calling me fat, just no, it's something that I call, I'm like, look, it looks like muscle, but we all know it's jiggle. It's like SPF, strategically placed, placed fat. Some guys get it, they, they gain weight and it looks like muscle. Anyways, 50, <clears throat> I, I need something for my, I don't really care about my arms. They're already damaged. I damaged my arms a long time ago. I have permanent, it's like leather right here. Leather, it's disgusting. I, I ruined it, permanent, it, permanent, it's never, I damaged this back in 2012, 2013. It has never gone, been the same. I just care about my face right now because I'm not gonna protect something that I already ruined. I mean, I should, I'm not gonna bake in the sun, but if the sun hits this for 20 minutes while driving, it's coming through the window, well, it's whatever. I probably could use a little vitamin D, whatever. I get enough for my fish. I'd rather eat the vitamin D than get, you know, so, risk sun cancer and get all wrinkly. But anyways, that's whatever. What I do care about was my, my face and neck so that when I turn 60, I don't look that bad. I look just a little bad. So here's another Neutrogena dry touch sunscreen, broad spectrum, Helio, Helioplex, lightweight, clean feel, fast absorbing, water resistant, 80 minutes. Wait, 80 minutes? That's nothing. That will that will fly right off. I didn't realize that. Well, how long does this one last? I did, I was reading so many art articles on the computer, like, I need something good for my face. I'm not, 80 minutes. And about, now I do remember, some girl was like, <clears throat> she made a YouTube video about it, and she says, the higher the number is not always better. A high number could only last 30 minutes and you have to apply it six times a day. Sometimes a lower number, like 50 or 60, but it's supposed to last four hours, three hours, it's worth getting that because the difference between 50 and 100, it sounds like a lot, but it's really not. It's really not. There's this whole marketing thing that they do. <clears throat> and I forget the active ingredients that you're supposed to, I, this is not a very inf informative video. It's not informational because I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm still trying to learn. But I remember wearing some of this in college. Just, I don't know why. Just just, just being gay. One, <laughs> wearing moisturizer on my face walking around campus. I I remember educating myself on like the best and what's, what to look for, what's good, what's not. And I forget everything. That was like seven, eight years ago. So now I have to relearn and I don't know. But I do remember I used to use one of these things on my face and it would get all sticky. I wouldn't get acne, but I felt really gross. It was just gross. Women or men who care about their faces. I'm looking for something for my face that I can use every single day that I've been reading the Japanese or the Korean, maybe it's both. Japanese and Korean, their sunscreen is like the world's best. I've seen so many reviews about it. I'm very up for having um, products from overseas. I mean, yeah, I'm not like, oh, it has to be American, but whatever. It's probably easier to get American because I can go to Walmart and find it, but I order everything anyway. So Amazon, these lights from Amazon, the tables from Amazon, my, my, my everything's from Amazon. So just help me. What in your experience has really worked for you, for your face that you put on every day and does it feel oily and like, suff I felt suffocating. I felt like I couldn't breathe on my face. It was really sticky and oh, yeah. Something that doesn't do that, but something that you feel works. Like you can be going out doing groceries, doing errands, going to the library, picking up your kids from school, uh, going for a walk for 20 minutes, just doing everyday stuff commuting in the car and the sun's beaming on your face through the window. What do you, what do you recommend to me? Cause I need to start over and start learning. I just got these cause they're really cheap. Cause they're the small travel sizes for airplanes. And I was like, let me just test the airplane ones. They're small. It's a dollar or whatever, $2. I think it was a dollar 19 cents. Yeah, cheap. 
So please help me. Because... I used to want to be really tan, and I'm so glad that phase didn't last long at all. Because did you know what you do to your skin now doesn't show up until you're 40? It takes 20 years for your skin to react to the damage you do now. So you could be tanning every day in high school and be like, ooh, I look good. And be like, see, I don't have wrinkles, I look fine. Yes, the effects aren't gonna show for another 30 years. And then when you hit 40, you're gonna be like, a prune, you're gonna be like, what the heck happened? Even if you're not tanning then, you kind of stopped after your phase in high school. Say you did it through college too. So you did a good eight years of tanning every day. Yeah. Hmm. I never did that. I had a, a few months of tanning. My ex, he was very superficial. He wanted me to get a chin implant. He wanted me to tan more. He made me use nair hair removal between my legs. You know. Which is, you know, fine. A lot of people don't want that stuff. Some people do. Depends who you are. But you know, he was a lot, uh, in ter comparing him to Orlin, a lot more like, your nails have to be good. You better floss after your meal. Oh, but it's only, it's only lunch. Don't, eh, where's your floss? There should be one in your man purse. And it, it's, he sounds like such a queen, right? He really wasn't, he was in the military. And when you looked at him, you wouldn't think he's gay, but he was very particular. Anyways. <laughs> He's the one that, what was, it, what was I talking about? The sunscreen? I don't know, whatever. Just help me. <laughs> Just help me find something that's good for my face. Yeah, oh yeah, I used to do tanning for him. Crest whitening strips on my teeth. I looked like a Barbie doll. Maybe I can find some photos to show you. Oh, yeah. And he cared for me, he paid for all my stuff. But the amount of like love and like affection from him was nowhere near the level of Orleans, my, my husband. And so funny, we were engaged. We were engaged for like a month. <laughs> a couple months, who knows, I don't even remember. I was 19. You've been engaged 19 times? <laughs> Oh my god, I, the Real Housewives of New Jersey, all of the Housewives shows, I reference them a lot because they're just like great examples of people with money who are still miserable. I don't find too much enjoyment out of the shows because they really, really rattle up my nerves. I get very anxious, my, I get very upset watching those, those shows. It makes you angry. It's like all the, all the, all the guys that like to watch boxing and they're watching the match and they're on the edge of their seats rooting for their favorite person. They're like, yeah, get him. And they start swinging the air, pretending that they're the person to hurt the other one. Yeah, get him. Yeah, get him, get him. The adrenaline, the rush, everyone trying to cheer on their favorite boxer. <clears throat> and <clears throat> that same type of thing with the females, like you, you feel a certain way. Like if you were there, you would just pull their hair too. Cause oh, I'm angry now. <clears throat> yeah, monkey see, monkey do. They're very, they're bad. Bad, bad shows. Well, and it's one of those things that if I click on it, I can't stop watching. That's, you probably feel that way about my channel. <laughs> With all my train wrecks and all my, I haven't had a meltdown forever. I'm doing a Nancy Pelosi clap. Yeah, like, I haven't had a meltdown forever, so you better be happy for me. But, yeah. I just randomly on Twitter, it was trending. I like to see what's on trending on Twitter. And it was Real Housewives of New Jersey. And I got sucked in. Danielle, one of the housewives who's featured on the show. Plastic surgery is really taken too far sometimes in this world. <laughs> it doesn't make you look better necessarily. Like sometimes it does. Sometimes it can really enhance you. I can think of a housewife right now who's I think looks even better than she originally did. And I can think of more people on the other side who look worse. And my mom always told me like growing up when plastic surgery became more of a norm, she says, look at the, like, do, do you think it makes them look any younger? It makes it more obvious. It would have been less obvious if they just kept their natural faces and maybe wore sunscreen and watch what they ate, you know, but 
sometimes plastic surgery, a lot of the time, you know, if your eyebrows do like this, like an angry, it looks more, it just stands out. And then you tell yourself, oh yeah, that's not natural. Is that the goal? You want people to look at you and be like, oh, that looks interest interesting or I don't know. Danielle got some work done and I, I feel like she's a very mean lady, so I have no problem talking about this either. You know, I, I feel like plastic surgery can be good or bad, just like many things, but oh, it matches her personality. Confusing. Inconsistent. Her fit, ugh. She looks like Jafar from Aladdin, literally. Oh my goodness. Oh. She does not look, she looked so much better before. I don't know why she needed to do anything. A lot of these women are, are already pretty. Oh, jeez. Yeah, she does not, I don't think it looks, does it enhance anything? <clears throat> it's very common with guys now too. Guys are getting facelifts and plastic. It looks like I barely ate anything. I swear I've eaten everything. These onion rings were the bomb. Oh! Very, very good. The honey mustards were okay. I loved the original flavor, and it's a lot of meat. For only a dollar more, these chicken fingers, like this weighs literally two and a half pounds. Like, it's about to snap for me holding it. Look, it's just, bare. it's a lot of meat. And it only costs maybe a dollar more than the boneless. Uh, maybe it's the same amount of meat. I don't know, these were just really good. Original flavor, I really like the sweet and spicy. These were too spicy, man. Spicy, spicy. Ah, see, in my head, I'm saying, Nick, you shouldn't have made it seem like plastic surgery is bad. I'm sorry. If you have plastic surgery, I'm not trying to shame you. I did make a point. Some people, it really does look, it, it does enhance you. I know um, my sister had plastic surgery. She, well, we don't know what happened to her. It's kind of um, a mystery. Remember I talked about it? Um, in my collaboration with her, I said she got corrective surgery because she had some kind of, they think it's linked to Lyme's disease, something, her whole face drooped and they pulled it back up and it enhanced, it made a big difference. And I think she's doing another procedure too to help correct it. Otherwise, it would have been half her face looks different. So I'm not dissing plastic surgery. There's a very good need for it. I'm just saying some people don't know when to stop or they just don't, they don't. And our opinions, right? Because we like to judge. They, they just don't need it. Some people are, they look great already. They don't need it. Now, if some get work done and you can't even tell, that's when you know it was very good done. It was done very well. You can't even tell. I watched a, sh a show here on YouTube. It was called, I forget what it was called, but it was two girls who went around, walking around downtown Los Angeles, Hollywood, asking people on the streets with a microphone, hey, I have a question for you. And they had the TV camera. It was two girls and they both looked very pretty. And one of them had plastic surgery in her face. The other one had plastic surgery in her breasts. And they asked the strangers, hey, which one of us had work on her face, which one of us had work on her chest? And so the people were looking at them like, hmm, they're looking at their chest, looking at their boobies, looking up at their, their lips and their, and most people got it wrong. You can't tell, Some sometimes you can't tell. That's when you know the work done was good. Yeah. So I'm not, again, I'm not trying to diss it. I just thought Danielle is per sick. I'm thinking about her. Sh her thing was bad. <laughs> it was just bad. <laughs> Sorry, that's what I think. <clears throat> bad, bad job. But, match that personality of yours. She's mean, she's very, very mean to all the other people. Instigating. 
does things on purpose to get a rise out of people who don't like that. So yeah, just talking about everything I like and now I can't stop eating. <laughs> these were very good. I don't know if these would be better hot. I mean, they're good, but they're not like good, good. I think they would be good, good, like fresh out of the fryer. This is all room temperature now and the onion rings are still great. Very, very good onion rings. All right, let's have one more for spicy one. Little piece. All right, big one. I have to use ranch though, because it's gonna be hot. Hot and spicy. Mm. Ooh wee. Oh. Oh my god. Help. Help. Mm -hmm. Spicy. Oh, I ignored my nuclear sauce. I'll save it for something. Oh god, I'm hit. Now, imagine if the Chick-fil-A spicy sandwich, <laughs> spicy sandwiches did that too, or the Burger King <clears throat> spicy nacho platter, whatever the hell we have. Oh, people will be protesting. That is spicy. What I did like about this restaurant is that when I went through the drive-thru and they, you know, you look at the screen to make your selection, they had all the flavors listed. And I was able to tell which ones were really spicy based on the number of flames. It had zero flames, it was not spicy. It had one flame, it was a little spicy. Two flames was medium. I think four flames was the most amount of spice. This one was three. They had something even spicier than this. But they let you know the spice chart. Oh, I'm like sweating. Alright, I want another one of these. It's just so good. Oh. This is good. I feel like I want to be like V Loves right now. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's actually really good. Good, good, good. Mm. It's so funny, what I liked the most was closest to me. This one, this one, this one, and this one. These two were my least favorite. Well, good, you gotta look at <clears throat> plates full of food the whole time, not empty boxes. Ooh. Anyways, it does feel really nice to be back with you guys. Even though I was sick and busy and I'm still getting my life together. Still don't have a shoe rack. I have to buy one of those wall mounted um, for this room. Wall mounted wire racks, shelves. <clears throat> Going across, I need mean, right it there. There's just so much. Uh, it's gonna take a month to get this place up to uh, up and organized. So people asking for apartment tour. Well, if I end up doing one, not yet. I, I want to at least get it together, make it look nice. So give me a month. Come back in March. March first. <clears throat> What's today? February tenth. I don't even know. <sighs> good, good, good. Good, good, good. Also good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So funny, I don't even like sweet stuff, but oh. Good.
Ooh, ow. Well, I'm going to say goodbye. I'm slowing down. I'm just repeating myself now. Talking about how my whole house looks messed up like a bomb went off. Actually, no. It looks a lot nicer than when a bomb went off. I've seen houses that look like bombs have gone off. I've lived in multiple different developing countries that really give me a sense of like, wow, appreciate what you have. It does not look like a bomb went off. It looks like I ordered a stuff, a bunch of stuff from Amazon and the boxes are sitting everywhere. That's what it looks like. <laughs> How privileged of me. Yes, I ordered stuff from Amazon. So anyways, getting my life sorted. Can't wait to show you when I'm ready. Thank you for joining me. Highly recommend this place. Everything was delicious except for this that's too hot. Give it a try. I'm happy. And um, shout out to my friend PCP. She just, I thought of her the whole time because she's the only person who's ever told, I didn't even know what this was until she told me. And now I see it driving around Florida. So anyways, have a wonderful, wonderful time in your life. <laughs> and I'll, <laughs> I make no sense right now. Now, I didn't make sense before because I was too hungry. Now I don't make sense because I have a food coma. And I'm like, oh, yeah, my mind's always, wah, 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 wah. Except when it's time to be Judge Judy, which I kind of want to digest and watch. I love Judge Judy. So she's my inspiration. Judge Judy. I, I watch her for fun, literally. So, have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for stopping by my channel. I appreciate your time. <gasps> that was really gross. Bye. This was good. Good, good, good. I hope she doesn't get mad that I took her slogan. Don't worry, I won't do that often. Good, good, good. She does that all the time. I'm back home. Shoopy doo, I'm home. Hello, I'm back home. Shoopy doo, I'm home. Hello, I'm back home. Shoopy doo, I'm home. Hello, and this is hard. It's too mad because we're all reading Zazbees.